What's up guys, it's Paralyzer here, and today we're going to be going back into old Grounded again and comparing the old version to the new version to see how much they've changed. Obviously here we're in the menu first of all, and as you can see, it's changed pretty significantly. Um, the old menu here is a lot darker than the new menu, and um, if we go into options, there's a lot less settings that we can change as well. Some of them are um, the same, like a lot of these like keybinds, but there are a lot more options now in the newer versions of the game. Um, this accessibility section as well is, is a little different, um, but in terms of the, the first menu at least, it's not crazy different. You wouldn't think it was a completely different game. We're going to go ahead and start a new game, and this is obviously different to the way we have the character selection now. We're going to go into creative. You'll notice there's only four modes here, and custom isn't a mode. We can't customize the custom game. There's no such thing in this version of Grounded, actually. The original Grounded only had four difficulties, um, but it did have a creative mode upon release, which is pretty cool. Uh, and this one basically lets you use any items you would like, uh, craft and build anything you would like without any of the stuff, so it is kind of just a custom game. Um, there was also no intro cutscene in this version, so I skipped it there, but it's literally just you getting out of the kid's case. As you can see, kid's case looks the exact same. Um, nothing has changed about this whatsoever. Um, I can still do the parkour to get out of here um, at the very start, so I mean, it's literally the same kid's case. There's nothing different about it. If we leave the initial area here, you'll see this area here, exactly the same, nothing different at all. Um, quite literally the same as it always has been in Grounded. And then if we head over to the field station, um, yeah, obviously the ASL doesn't work in this version, even if we had the power turned on, this whiteboard is no longer here. And granola bars didn't even exist in this version of Grounded. They literally weren't even invented yet. As we head over to the Mysterious Machine, we have this little... Uh, lawn mite eating a gnat right here. This no longer exists uh, in Grounded for some reason. They removed it. No clue why. I thought it was a cool little thing in the game that you get at the start. Obviously no tapes or anything either on the Mysterious Machine. Those didn't exist either. And there's three buttons on the Mysterious Machine, which is target, activate, and emergency. Whereas I feel like now there's only target and activate. But I'll have to double check that. I'm sure I have some footage overlaying right now showing whether there's two or three buttons. Now, obviously, I don't have the handy nat here or any sort of photo mode, so I'm trying to do this the best I can with the tools I have. Um, you can see the tree here is very, very similar to the way it used to look. And as we go over to these areas of the map, it's the same. It looks very, very similar. Okay, I've used some magic powers here to remove the depth of field blur in this version of Grounded. Oh god, I'm upside down. Ooh. So we should be able to see everything now. Aha, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. So as you can see, if I do a bit of moving around here, the tree and the plant area looks the exact same in this version of the game. Nothing's changed about it at all. If we go under the map here, we can see that um, the oak lab, which is where we would usually go, has changed. There's obviously a puzzle in here that isn't in there anymore. And I believe there's a Taze T in here that doesn't spawn in this version, perhaps. As well as Burgle being on the ground facing the other way. And there is a Grasslands chip that would usually spawn that isn't anymore in the game. Uh, the ASL isn't down here because it's not there. And the secret room that's usually here with the zipper in doesn't exist either. Um, in terms of caves, I believe the abandoned anthill is still here. It is indeed. Does it have the same layout is the question. So you would go down here... There is a way across, just like there always was. There is a way down, just like there is currently. Yeah, this seems like the same layout of the abandoned anthill that we currently have in Grounded. Nothing seems to have changed here whatsoever. So that's pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Um, right, let's head higher up in the map here. So what else do we have? Do we have the Rotten Lava Blade? There's a good question. Oh, you can't even place markers in this version of the game. Well, isn't that fantastic? I've just got to know where the heck I'm going. I can't even place a marker on the map. There is the Rotten Lava Blade in this version of Grounded. Very cool. You can still analyze it. And as you can see, the stats look very different on this thing. Uh, it still has this poison effect, which is very cool. It actually tells you what the effect is. Uh, I really like the way this looks as well. These bars are very, very cool compared to the current ones we have, which are a little bit basic. Um, some of the older stuff in this game sometimes is, is more more unique in my opinion so obviously the shed the, the house decking is going to be the exact same as always 
Uh, there was tape up here at one point. This never got developed, though. Um, this tape has just been removed, and there's still nothing up here, so... Who knows, maybe one day they'll actually develop something up there. But as of right now, still nothing. Let's go ahead and let's take a look into the hedge as well. As we can see, we still have basic field station on the way up. Uh, obviously, there is just the branch to get up. There's no paperclip. That was added much, much, much more recently. We still have the juice box over here. If we come over here, the... The Broodmother isn't here, but that's because we're on a creative world. I'm sure the Broodmother would actually be here if we were in survival. It was just a wolf spider in this version of the game. There's a, a fun piece of information for you. And if we keep moving through the hedge here, we're eventually going to get to the lab, I think. Okay, yeah, here we are. So if you were to follow the branches all the way along, you don't actually use a zipline either. You just drop down into the hedge lab. Um, this thing is awfully similar but not the exact same. It is very, very similar, though, to when it first released. There's a drop-down area here with an analyzer. It's not drop-down anymore. There's a lever right here, which is different to the way it currently works. Uh, and if we go to the area where you would input the password, this area is actually just completely empty now. Like, there's just a bunch of computers. It's not empty-empty, but there's not what it uh, currently is in here. You just go up here, you would pull this lever, and... If we go through here, there's some doors. There's just a bunch of doors everywhere. I'm getting lost in the hedge lab, for God's sake. Yes, yeah, so this room would have a bunch of spiders, obviously. I'm trying to figure out how this works. Can you even get the chip, or do you just pull a lever? Is that all you do here? There must be a way to get the hedge chip, right? I'm gonna have to go back and play the old versions of Grounded to figure out how these things work. Well, I can't see how the heck you would get the hedge chip, but I can guarantee you it's there somewhere. Um, I just can't find it because I'm dumb. Ooh, we're going to get to go and visit the old um, ant easter egg. This is what it used to look like. So you have the um, totem thingy on the wall. You have the recipe over here in the corner. You have all of the ant heads. And then you have an old lean to and a backpack that has uh, a bunch of ant parts or heads. I think it's ant heads inside of it. So that is very, very cool. Now we're going to take a look at some of the late game areas of Grounded now, because obviously that's where everyone wants to see, right? So if we head on over here, um, this is the upper yard. This is where the Black Widow is, um, and the Double Black Ox Beetle Cave with the big rock mound. It's nothing. Um, this is where Moldork Castle is. It's literally just an empty lake. This is the entirety of the upper yard in this version. It is quite literally just covered in grass. If I go far enough away here, it's going to de-render the grass. You can see it is literally just regular grass covering the entire piece of land. There's actually nothing over there at all. Even if I go to the barbecue here, the barbecue is standing up. That's why it's called the barbecue spill, funnily enough, is because the barbecue is standing in the older versions and they spilled it over to create all the charcoal mess that goes everywhere. And if we go to the wood pile, that's also not here. And if we go inside the shed, that's also not here. But there is Big Potato Chef. As you can see, Potato Chef has always been here. He's now down over there. And if we go even closer to this, there's another Easter egg on the Potato Chef. There's a card from... I don't know what game this is from. It's from some card game. There's a card called Zakmar. Um, yeah, I don't know why that's there. I don't know what that is. But, but apparently that's a thing. Who 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 is that? So I'm sure someone in the comments will know. The picnic table is completely blank. There's nothing on it at all. It's literally empty. We have the stump over here, which has a magnifying glass on it, which is producing heat and creating like a sort of fire effect, which is very, very cool. Um, I believe if you stood in this, it would burn you. But I'm in a camera mode right now, so there's no way to know. I'd have to fact check that. And then there's the stump area here that has a bunch of dry grass in it. This is a, a pretty cool place, like in the old versions of the games, to build your base. But obviously, you'd regret that in the future, because this area then got developed, and they kind of removed the stump. This is what the sandbox used to look like. It's just four wooden walls, and it's just an area full of dry grass. I don't believe you got any sort of burning during this version. And then the trash heap doesn't even exist either. The, the yard was very, very empty back then, okay? The decking area, again, there's nothing on here. There isn't in the new version either. The haze does exist, though. There is the haze. There is no haze gas canister, though. That's not a thing. 
And um, I do believe the Haze Lab was a thing, though, if we can go ahead and find it. Here it is right here, look. So as you can see, the Haze Lab still exists. The door, interestingly, doesn't seem to be able to be bombed, but I'm sure it just has a different texture in this version. So as you can see, we can still go into the Haze Lab. It is literally the exact same layout. Nothing has changed with this. Um, I lied. It has changed. Look at that. There's a button right here that's blue. You could also jump over here and go around the back to a secret little room, um, which I'm sure has some goodies in. And then you would have to go back through the secret little area here if you wanted to go and do the actual haze lab. It looks so different in here. There's, it, there's just no grass, do you know what I mean? It's just much less textured. And there was obviously no pipe shortcut back then either. So you would just go through and you have this next room here with some more goodies, and you'd go in here and pull the lever. I guess the levers is what gives you, like, the, the uh, chips then. Uh, maybe I didn't play this far back. I don't remember, but this was also four years ago. So I think I did play this version. I just don't remember it because it was literally years and years ago. There is some pipes in the ground over here in the haze, but they currently don't lead into the lab. Um, in terms of other stuff, what do we have? I guess we can check out the pond, right? As you can see here... Um, it's going to be kind of hard to see in the pond because it's very, very blurry. Um, but I can assure you that the pond lab didn't exist. There is another frisbee in this pond. See, I have played this version because I remember that frisbee. I can't really show off the pond that well, but you're just going to have to trust me when I say the pond is empty in this version. There is uh, algae, as you can see, floating along here. I don't think you can even pick it up, though, because it looks very, very different to the way it does now. And I don't even think the pond depth exists. As you can see, there's no pond depth. It's not a, it's not a thing in this version. Um, or I guess it is a thing, but there's nothing, like, down here. It's very empty. <laughs> This whole map is empty. Yeah, the pond is a bit of a pain to, to deal with. I can't lie. I can't really can't really maneuver through that. Um, and as you can see, I don't think the bee's nest exists either inside of the tree. So yeah, that's a look at the old version of Grounded and what it kind of looked like. I believe, actually, there is the Pinchbacker Lab. Yes, look. You can still find the Pinchbacker Lab. And this looks completely different. You couldn't get in here, I don't believe. They still have the Berry Monster. Um, but what it is, is there's a bunch of berries inside of different test tubes that they're testing on, um, which is very, very interesting. And then they made the berry monster. This is what it originally looked like. There's a couple of buttons in here. Don't believe you could press those. because I don't even think you could get in here. It was that long ago. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything in the map for this version of Grounded. It looks very, very cool. As you can see, the map has changed a crap ton. It is literally entirely different since it very first released. Um, so yeah, a huge shout out to the devs. This really does just show how much goddamn work they've put into the game. It is kinda insane, I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you showed this to someone who plays Grounded now, they honestly would think this was a completely different game. Apart from the fact the graphics are the exact same. Um, it's literally night and day between old Grounded and current Grounded. So a huge shout out to them. And uh, yeah, they clearly worked very hard on this. I'm literally addicted to looking around and exploring. Oh, we still have the four leaf clover, really? Is it in here though, or is it just a cave? Okay, yeah, the, the four leaf clover might be in here, but I'm just in cam mode, so it might not be showing. There is also the ant nest, obviously, as well, which I didn't check. I probably should have done that. Let's go to the Red Ant Nest. I believe it's literally the exact same layout, though, so... I don't believe much has changed inside of here. I believe it even still has the Rotten Bee armor, but we're not going to be able to see that. A uh, bunch more quartzite than there used to be as well. But yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like on it. I'll see you guys in the next Grounded video, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.